Hi guys, it's Digitized Pro here, bringing you the second MIT App Inventor video. So today we'll be making a draw app or a doodle app. So we're going to click go and create again. And when this loads, there's normally just a, a pop up thing here, and you click continue, and it'll take you to the most recent app, thinking you want to carry it on. So if that happens, just go over to my projects or projects, my projects, and it'll take you here. So then we're going to start a new project. And we're going to call this draw or doodle. And then <coughs> when it loads, we'll have this. So like we did last time, we're going to go over here and change the title of the screen to something like draw. And then we're going to add, um, wait, no, before we do that, before we add anything, we're going to make sure again here, the scrollable, if it's checked, uncheck it. And screen orientation, you can check, you can keep that port right. So make sure if that's checked, you uncheck it. So now go over to um, the palette, and you're going to go on to drawing and animation, and drag and drop a canvas. This is where you can draw on or animation can happen on. But at the moment, you see it's that small. It's a bit pointless drawing on something that big. So you're going to go on width and click fill parent. Okay, and it will fill the whole width of the screen. And height, also fill parent. So here we go. But we're also going to want buttons. So go on to go back to user interface and drag and drop a button. Right, yep, make sure that, yeah, when that blue line shows. We have three colours to start off with, and then a button at the bottom for clear. But at the moment, it's like this, you see, and that looks a bit stupid and ugly, and you don't want that. We want them across. It's going to go on to layout and horizontal arrangement, and drag and drop that on. Then put text for button one in there. So button one, button two, button three. And then we've got here. You can see it doesn't fit on the screen, but we'll change that because we're going to change the text. So the text for button one, we're going to get rid of that and write black. We're going to change the background color for that to black and the text color for that to white. So people, if it's a young child using who can't read very well, excuse me, or who can't read, then the colors there, if they know the colors, you see black there and they'll know it will draw that. So go over to button two, red, we're going to go red, and then I think we'll go for green. There we go, and then the background colour for that will be green. So now we've got that, we're going to want a clear button, so we're going to go here, and write clear and then we're going to put in brackets shake and the background colour for that will be white okay because what we're going to do is when you drag that on when you shake so when you shake the screen it will clear it for you so for that we're going to need to go into sensors and drag an accelerometer this can't be seen but it's there to um so when it shakes and things like that, it will know what happens. So now we're going to go on to the coding part and go over to blocks. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to go on to a canvas one. When canvas one dot dragged. And then cool draw line. Cool canvas one dot draw line. And it gives a nice click there. So that's going to draw a line when you're dragging on it. So draw a line when you drag it. And then we're going to get previous X. So hover over that and go there without clicking. Don't, if you click, you move it. So hover, get previous Y. So that's the previous Y. So the previous X coordinate and the previous Y coordinate that were tapped. 2, X2 and Y2 are the um, current x and current y meaning wherever your finger is on the on the screen that's where the line will be drawn up to 
So that's the line drawing part, and now we're going to want the part for it to do colours. So button 1, if we go back here, we can name that. So if we go back here, we can change the... Oh yeah, rename, here it is. We can change the that to black. Button 2, rename to red. And button 3, rename to green. So then we go over to back over to blocks. So when black, and we'll go when black dot click, then canvas one, go all the way down, set to canvas one dot paint color to, wait, wait, yep, gives the click again, two, and then we go over to color here which is really useful here, they've got control, logic, maths for numbers and stuff but we're going to do colour, so that's the grey one and the black here if you want different shades, you can click on that and then you've got all the shades there to choose from so now we're going to duplicate this and as you can see there's a a mark there, um, a warning sign saying that it's duplicated this is a duplicate event handler so what you're going to do is you're going to go when button when red and then when green and you're going we're going to delete these you could do the shades but there's so many different shades of red that you might get it wrong to the actual color of it so we're going to color and this is going to be the simple red another click there and this is going to be the green so that's that bit done and that's all the drawing but we're going to want to clear it now because we have the clear button so we're going to do when button 4 which is clear we can go and rename that if we want but it's okay when button 4 dot click go into back onto the canvas call canvas 1 dot clear which clears the whole canvas but then also we're going to want this um, shake option so we're going to go here click when accelerometer sensor and when it's sh dot shaking, so when it's being shaked, it will also, so we just duplicate that, call the canvas one to clear. So that's the coding part. If you can follow along with me, pause the video now and copy the code that's on the screen. Um, so now I am going to go and test this to see if it works. So now you've seen me do the design of this and put the coding blocks on it, we're going to test it. So you're going to open up your phone, if I can get the password right, <laughs> and go on to MIT AI2 Companion. Um, so now that's open, we're going to go on to Connect AI Companion and then the code will come up so there's the scanning code and if you can see there there is a six digit code six character code um, and as it says here you can either enter the six character code or scan it so we're just going to scan it hold it over when it registers the app will load so this is what the app looks like if you can see here so there's the black button the the red black button and the green button so you can go on the black button and I'm gonna draw a line and as you can see a line is drawn then we're gonna go red draw a line and there's a red line green and then I click clear here at the bottom if you can I'm not sure if the camera can pick up the text but that's the one that says clear if I click on that it clears so then we're going to draw some more stuff just checking red, green, it all works here we go and then I'm going to shake this so just going to go there we go, it's cleared so that is the testing of the app thank you very much for watching please like, comment, 
and subscribe.